Hello and welcome to Defect of the Month, taken from the NPL Defect database. My name's Bob Willis and this month let's talk about POP assembly. Now POP assembly incorporates the use of either flux or dip solder paste for level 2 and subsequent POP assembly packages. Flux is one way of soldering packages like this, however where we have warpage on the package, which is a common phenomenon that many people have experienced during the assembly process of these new packages, the flux only approach does not overcome warpage and coplanearity of packages. Dip paste, on the other hand, certainly gives you more process freedom. Now, dip paste is available from a number of suppliers in the industry right now. It has a much smaller particle size, this is the metal particle size and a slightly different uh, medium formation to allow the material to be dipped and also coat evenly individual balls prior to placement on top of the bottom package. During the soldering operation, if there is any warpage of the PCB or any of the layers of the pot package, the solder paste tends to bridge the gap. During the solidification of the solder, uh, the greater volume provided by the paste fills the gap and provides a reliable solder joint.